我们下一个演讲的教授是来自韩国的李教授。李教授是韩国延世大学圆周医学院教授，任人类护理健康研究所所长和韩国水协会的会长。他发表了一百五十多篇关于健康和替代医学的论文，呃，是这个将功能水用于临床的这个重要的专家。呃，那么我们现在有请李教授，他的演讲的题目是 Hygiene Life i n g i n 呃，谢谢，有请。Excuse me. Twenty minutes limit, please. Thank you. I think it will be longer than that. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm very happy to be here on this special uh, symposium. Thank you, uh, organization committee, and especially uh, Professor Jin inviting me. And thank you, all of you, who are conducting hydrogen research. Today, uh, I would like to uh, give a presentation, very simple and easy, but uh, I think a little bit uh, sensitive topic, hydrogen is uh, life energy. Uh, there are several reasons uh, among them I summarized like this. Uh, hydrogen is the oldest body component for eternal life. And second, uh, hydrogen uh, gives us energy and hydrogen extends our lifespan. So, to understand the uh, first topic, uh, I want to ask you, what is life? It's very uh, easy, simple, but uh, this dictionary uh, defined life between birth and death. It's, it's very easy, birth and death. It means uh, the, the, this small baby inside this womb is dead material. According to the dictionary, this is dead. So uh, it's easy, but it's very complicated. So how about your opinion regarding this abortion? Someone support or someone is illegal. So it also same meaning. What is life? And it's the same question. How old are you? Uh, our age. So many years ago, uh, I enjoyed this movie, Chinese movie, uh, Korean, Nagyeop Gigun, <laughs> Chinese language might be. So it's the meaning, fallen leaves return to their root. Looks like it disappear, but there is the leaves, uh, the component uh, is come back to life again, as live again as a new leaves. So it looks like it disappear, but it's not true. And recently, there is a special funeral ceremony in America. Uh, human composting uh, funeral ceremony. After this, uh, this body mixed with uh, wood chip, rice straw, and transport inside this special device. And that body uh, transformed their shape. One month later, our body became composed and go back to nature. Can be used uh, fertilizer. That is our body. For a long time, the Bible say all came from dust and all returned to dust. We are saying this time. In the time when there is no microscope, this is reasonable, this is true. But you know, what is inside this dust? There is a small molecule, atom. And now we can say all came from atom and all returned to atom. It is my be. So among this picture, uh, we can uh, this thing is easily, what is life? Life, life. No motion, but life. Motion is not life. It's easy. Because uh, there are one concept. Uh, we understand what is life is the, the, if there is a cell, that is life. We understand. Without cell, it's not life. So, let's think about what is the meaning of a cell. Robert Hooke, long time ago, first found cell and named cell first time. He, his thinking is not living, just he named the meaning of cell is small room. Cell is just a container. Living things are not just cell, living things are inside all the material inside the cell. That is living things. But we defined cell itself life. 
As you know, is all the matter inside. They move, walk, or they are living things. Set just a container. So uh, let's think about among this, uh, what is life? No motion, but this is life. Egg, life. Cell, life. We know this mitochondria alive, they work inside the cell, but we have to say it's not life. By the source, it's not life. Let's think about this, this small this device molecule, this ATP synthase inside, they work, but it's not life. Among this, we have to say this is life, this is not life. A virus living things, we have to say not living things, but we want to say it's a life, but because there is a common belief that all living organisms are made of cells. Until now, uh, we is the follow this the concept. Uh, living things, uh, common belief, all living organisms are made of cells. So this is living thing, this is non-living thing. So recently, scientists developed one more term regarding living things, non-cellular life form. I think it's a very good term. So today I want to suggest uh, let's expand uh, the application of this term, not only by us, other living material inside all material. You can say non-cellular life forms. This is non-cellular life form. This is also. I think this ATP synthase, they work by themselves. They move. Not only, if you see this is one, there's a, this is one looks like a cell and the living things inside all material, macromolecule, atom, they move, they work. You can go till follow the end to the atom. All living, all alive. Life on us uh, probably began about 3.5 billion e years ago. We just, uh, we guess, uh, life on us about started, uh, Luca, 3.5 billion years ago, and now we are here. You know, understand after that. But we don't know what happened before that. We don't know, just to we guess. So there are several theories regarding origin of life. It means we don't know. Uh, there are several theories. And we try to uh, find out what is the origin of life, beginning of life, but we don't know. So there are many theories. But there is one consensus. Most of scientists agree with this, uh, this of biologists. It means living things started from non-living matter. So the cell is alive, but it's people that all this work and they make up all these the, the cells. So living things started, non-living things from atom. One month ago, NASA reported uh, they took small sample from asteroid venue, small sample, and reported like this. Since the launching, seven years later, they finally took small sample and uh, said, this will help scientists invest the origin of life on our own planet for generations to come and said, almost everything we do at NASA seeks to answer questions about who are, who we are, and where we come from. Uh, they're trying to find the secret origin of life in here, dust, atom. There is a secret of life. So scientists uh, guess the one is the cell, uh, contain 100 trillion atoms. Atoms is the uh, material, is the making of this cell. Uh, this is the beginning of life. And inside the atom, there is energy particle. So uh, scientists uh, studied and recently uh, completed uh, this uh, one theory of everything. That is standard model. And now we understand everything in universe is making up made of this energy, 11 particles. This is uh, the last discovered this particle, God particle. And now we understand everything in the universe uh, is uh, made up of this all energy particle. Let's see what is the material making up our body. Let's keep this small movie for save. So,
So, Dr. George Wild, he got a Nobel Award in medicine long time ago in 1967. Uh, he's a neurobiologist. Uh, he said, I have lived much of my life among molecules. They are good company. And it's the very famous uh, physicist, Owen Schrodinger. He's very famous, his cat, yeah, Schrodinger cat. And he defined life. He wrote a book, What is Life? And he defined life, matter and energy seems granular in structure, and so does life, but not so mind. We don't know where is the conscious, but he defined life. Life is just a mixture of matter and energy. Einstein also says everything is energy, and this is not philosophy, this is physics. We are energy, and everything is alive. So as you know, uh, it started from the Big Bang. And 30.8 billion years ago, there was a Big Bang, and there was energy. At the same time, uh, there was uh, the first atom. That is proton hydrogen. So uh, this is atom uh, is a material composing our body. Just we can say our body composed this, this water protein, but if it's inside the detail, it's our body is making up this uh, atom. Oxygen, carbon, and around 10% hydrogen. As you know, this hydrogen originated, began from Big Bang. So this is our body. And all this material came from a uh, star, from the Big Bang. So and among this atom, the hydrogen, especially hydrogen, originated from the Big Bang until now. It making up some uh, part of our body. So how old are we? We are 13.0 billion years ago, years old. That's truth. And we are our age same. From the Big Bang, we are the getting older. So this is yes, all things are made of atoms, they are everywhere and they constitute everything. So we are all the occasions though show leaves one. So our lives come full circle. Looks like a star after this, but some of our body scattered and move location and begin new life again. It's, it's uh, full circle, is continuous. So our life, our age depends on what is our research field. Uh, if you say uh, in the position of biologists, we may say 30, 40, 100, but if you see our body in view of Chemist, physicist, uh, we have to say, we can say 13.8 billion years ago. And this year, three scientists got Nobel uh, Award in physics. They uh, developed a very special technique, attosecond. Attosecond, before that, we measured all movement of femtosecond. But now, uh, we can measure attosecond as a movement. It means uh, uh, you can check the movement of electron, electron. So we can apply uh, this technique to hydrogen. Until now, we think hydrogen is just atom, but now we can say hydrogen is energy, and we can is the conduct research regarding energy atom movement. This is uh, my first story, and second. Hydrogen is a key factor giving us energy. So uh, this is energy flow in the ecosystem. Uh, the plant cell, animal cell, they help each other to produce ATP. And uh, we need uh, oxygen and sugar. Uh, it is produced from plant and also support uh, water and uh, carbon dioxide. So this is, is the, the, the main is energy flow in living things. But there is one more energy, it's fundamental energy, that is uh, solar, uh, that is light. So first, uh, presenter uh, explained a little bit this. This is a fundamental energy, it's making, it's all, it's everything is uh, alive. So this is the uh, sun. Sun is a uh, Main is the source of main material is hydrogen, helium. They're making this. Uh, and uh, inside of this, 
uh, there is a the reaction proton proton uh, nuclear fusion chain reaction is the uh, is the main as uh, energy source in move across the solar system and arrive so is the fundamental energy is the originate from the, this hydrogen inside sun so this is the uh, mechanism is the proton proton chain reaction is the main is the fundamental energy we got from this hydrogen and it arrive us and the plant cell use this uh, this light energy the light energy can be used to uh, splitting this it is uh, uh, plant cell stroma is the stroma to absorb light and use this energy to splitting the water to proton and oxygen so this proton uh, can be transported to cell membrane and mitochondria then uh, can be used to uh, create ATP and provide energy. So proton is the driving force operating this ATP production. Here you can see this yes. electron transport chain is that happened in cell membrane also is mitochondria. We call uh, this mitochondria powerhouse here. So to produce ATP uh, requires four proton produce one ATP. So ATP uh, is the uh, energy to make us living. So without ATP, as you know, no uh, life on us. So let's see uh, how ATP synthase is the produce ATP and the low level proton. Okay, let's see <laughs> we have time limitation. So, uh, for many years I visited the, the last of a farm to check uh, the application of hydrogen water. So I visited every uh, year this farm. The, it was took, it's the three years ago and the farmer made a mistake, sprayed very strong sulfur solution and started as the decaying rotting. It's early farming, it's melon. Yes, it's the storm root decaying. It's very difficult to, to living again. After spraying hydrogen water, is the change that is the same house like this and uh, became alive. And surprisingly, I got the picture they give me. The product increased four times. Uh, I surprised, and the sugar content and other. So uh, it is impossible uh, spraying only nutritional supplement. I think this is a hydrogen effect. Product increased 400 times. So I think hydrogen give energy, give life to plant cell. Not only plant hydrogen give us animal cell energy and extend our lifespan. And last topic, uh, hydrogen promoter for extension of health life. As you know, hydrogen extend our lifespan. Hydrogen has an uh, advantage compared to other antioxidant. That is a small size, small list. It means it can go anywhere in our body and conduct low level antioxidant. This is a free radical. Free radical is a uh, uncharged molecule having unpaired electron. So all the time it is unstable. The low level antioxidant just giving electron. It electron means just giving hydrogen. Is the mechanism of antioxidant. Uh, this slide is showing classification of antioxidant, enzymatic, non-enzymatic, there are many, but there, there is no antioxidant, hydrogen, because hydrogen itself is a mechanism of antioxidant. So, antioxidant compounds act through several chemical mechanisms. The main mechanism of antioxidant is giving hydrogen atom to free radical or RS. So, this is the example of antioxidant role. This penalty antioxidants give first hydrogen atom, then stabilize RS. And giving one more hydrogen atom also stabilize RS. This is the low level 
uh, hydrogen. That is the mechanism of antioxidant. About 10 years ago, we conducted a very interesting experiment. So we took blood sample before, after hydrogen water drinking, and one more experiment before, after hydrogen inhalation. We got the same result. After five minutes drinking hydrogen water, we measured the total ROS in blood. We got the result decreasing like this way. It means uh, hydrogen is responsible for slowing down uh, aging process in our body. So I, uh, I saw this uh, journal last year. Uh, I think it's a really important, uh, good result. Uh, European scientists uh, published this journal. They gave hydrogen water aged person and measured, uh, and they uh, found drinking hydrogen water prevent shortening telomere. As you know, I think it's the direct proof, clinical proof, drinking hydrogen water extend lifespan. So uh, there are uh, many uh, nursing home and health shop using hydrogen water in Korea. They uh, is the, uh, use hydrogen water, skin care, uh, skin disease control, and as one more, anti-aging uh, property. And this year, we published this journal. It's very uh, easy, uh, simple topic. Uh, it's very easy to be understood to the public, what is hydrogen. The title is, Redox Mechanism of Molecular Hydrogen Promote Healthful Longevity. So briefly, we can say, uh, hydrogen increases our lifespan. And is on the cover page of this antioxidant. I think it's very easy to understood to the public. So uh, I summarize like this. Uh, hydrogen, we know, now we, it's not difficult to introduce hydrogen to the public because there are lots of academic achievement. So uh, hydrogen uh, is life energy expanding our lifespan. Thank you for your listening. Thank you.